Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Apples and Tiaras. So today I'm gonna do the I Teach To teacher tag video created by Megan at Too Cool for Middle School. I'm so excited to do this tag. Absolutely love doing tags. Um, Jennifer and I created the teacher tag months and months and months ago and we had so much fun creating it and I'm really really excited to be answering some new questions so thank you Megan for creating this wonderful tag and I tag all of you out there to do this tag I tag Jennifer from Genuine Teaching I know she's been tagged already but she hasn't filmed her video yet so I'm tagging you um, and yeah so I'm gonna just go ahead and get started it's actually 6 40 in the morning and I'm ready early to go to Ikea with Jennifer today so I'm like you know what let's just film the video so I'm gonna just go ahead and get into the questions and I'm sorry that I'm squinting um, but I'm not gonna wear my glasses in this video because there's a glare from the window um, and I'm sorry about the background my office is now a nursery and so there aren't a lot of ample places to film in my house now <laughs> so I'm gonna have to sort that out but um, for now this will work okay the first question is where what do you teach and where I teach fourth grade in Arizona number two how long have you been teaching this will be my fourth class and it's weird that I have to answer that way because I graduated college in December so I actually came through half of the year so this will be my third and a half year teaching <laughs> but my fourth class uh, did you always know you wanted to be a teacher? No. Well, kind of. Yes. Yes and no. I always loved the idea of being a teacher because I always loved helping people. I always loved kids. I was always that person or that child that would play school in the playroom with all your friends, just like a lot of you do or have. Um, but my actual first path of career my first career choice was actually to be a performer either on Broadway or in um, film or just a performer in general um, I got accepted into a lot of different performing arts colleges USC performing arts um, American Music Dramatic Academy New York perform New York Conservatory Cal State um, theater uh, Cal Arts just a ton of different colleges for um, theatrical arts and after my first semester of going through that, I decided this isn't for me. I want to be a teacher um, because teaching is a lot like performing. Every day you get to perform for your students. You get to put on a show. It's all theatrical. It's all energetic. And I think that teaching and theater kind of go together. But um, yeah, I did finally, you know, choose the right path into teaching. But I didn't always. I did as a child, but when I was an older teenager you know when you're right out of high school you're like oh I'm gonna go do this and then you change course and finally I'm here so um what is your typical teacher OOTD um that's teacher outfit of the day um I really love my school and my principal because she's super lenient on our outfits <laughs> on our uh attire um we can't wear jeans every day we can't wear open-toed like just flip-flops but we are allowed to wear colored jeans and graphic tees and tennis shoes so my total like go-to outfit of the day would be a black pair of jeans with a pair of converse and a graphic tee kind of like this or like that says something about teaching or like I love my students or something like that um that would be my go-to outfit just because it's so comfortable and easy for me to get up and down, move around. I'm constantly working around in different areas and getting up and down in different positions. And so I think that wearing something comfortable like that is really, really, really awesome. So that would be my go-to teacher OOTD. It's going to get really interesting this uh, school year because I'm going to be big pregnant when I go back to work. So um, getting some teacher outfits is on my list. <laughs> Um, let's see. What do you usually bring for lunch? This is a great question. I'm a really, really persnickety eater. Not like picky, but I like to have different options and I don't like eating the same thing every day. It kind of drives me insane. Um, but most of the time I will bring like leftovers from what I had the night before for lunch. Um, or I'll bring, when I'm not pregnant, I'll bring like a sandwich, a turkey sandwich, um, or some kind of salad or just... I don't know. I try to I try to bring like a fruit and a vegetable and protein every, at every meal. 
um, especially lunch. And if I forget my lunch, sometimes I just get school lunch. And the school lunch is pretty good. Uh, there's a salad bar and there's always a protein option. So if I forget lunch, I can just grab that and it works pretty well. But um, mostly just leftovers from the day before or just little concoctions that I've come up with like rolled up turkey with cheese and carrots and yogurt and hummus or something, you know, like that. What is one of your favorite books about teaching? Um, I think I don't really read a lot. Um, I don't really have a lot of time to read and I'm one of those people that doesn't reach for a book when there's nothing else to do. I, I enjoy reading and there. I just, I'm really picky with my genres. So I don't really pick up a lot of books. I prefer to learn visually um, through um, verbal and kinesthetic. So I like to do hands-on learning. So I'd rather go to a PD than pick up a book and read it. Um, but I have read The First Days of School and I forget who writes that, Her Harry Wong. I probably am messing this up, but I'll link the book down below. And or One, Two, Three Magic for Teaching. Those are the two books that I've read that are specific to teaching outside of like college textbooks. Um, but the One, Two, Three Magic is a really good behavior management system for difficult behaved classes. And if you haven't heard about it, it's basically like, okay, I asked you to do something. You didn't do it. I'm going to count. Okay, that's one. Um, they do it again. Okay, that's two. On three, you're going to take five minutes out of out of the group and you're going to have time out or you're going to have a consequence. You tell them what the consequence will be. Um, okay, that's three, take five. So they know that this consequence is coming every time you reach the number three. So there's no argument, you know. Um, it's not like, well, I, th no, I counted to three, go take your consequence. Um, and after a while they catch on and they really respond to it. But those are the only two books that I've really read that are teaching related. What is one of your favorite teacher movies? I love the movie, The Freedom Riders with, uh, what's her name? Hilary Swank. I think that's a really, really inspiring movie, um, to take all those troubled kids and turn them into these wonderful writers and some people that are proud of what they do. Um, I also love the movie Bad Teacher. In fact, Jennifer had never seen it, so I took it over there and we watched it, um, last week and we were both cracking up. Um, but yeah, those would be my two favorite teacher movies. Who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was my fourth grade teacher. Her name was Mrs. Tripp and she was just so fun and so inspiring and engaging. I remember she would sing to us, she would dance around the room, she would play music like you'd be listening to, you know, hit me baby one more time because that's what was really in when I was in fourth grade <laughs> in like 2000. 2000? Yeah, 1999. Um, <laughs> And she would let us do Reader's Theater, and she'd give us these amazing projects where we had to come to school dressed up, or we had to make models of California missions, because I grew up in California um, until I was 12. And um, it was just always so much fun in her room. There was never, like, a time where you felt unhappy in there. Even if you were getting in trouble, you know, there was never a moment where you felt unloved. Um, I think that's the most important part of her. She loved you. And um, I was actually very close with her up until last year. Um, we were Facebook friends and she wanted to come to my graduation and she was always so positive and, you know, would comment on all my posts and send me messages, encouraging messages. And um, she actually lost a battle with cancer um, last year, but you could just tell with her passing how many people came out of the woodwork, like all of these people who she had touched and who had the same feelings as me and who loved her um, because she was just so amazing. So um, that's my favorite teacher. So I strive to be like Mrs. Tripp. That's my goal. I want to be just like her. Um, what are some of your favorite teacher YouTubers, Instagrammers, Snapchatters, etc.? Um, some of my favorite teacher YouTubers, um, I love Genuine Teaching. She is my best friend on YouTube and in real life. Um, I also love watching Pocket Full of Primary. I always put her movie, her vlogs on on the weekends when I'm like getting ready or cleaning. I have her in my headphones. I'm listening. Um, um, 
I love, I've just started watching Mr. Thane and he's really funny. I loved his little what, t what students say video that he just posted. <laughs> that was really funny. Um, I love the Instagrammer. I don't know if she has a YouTube channel, but um, teaching and so forth, I absolutely adore her. If she hadn't done it, I would have done it at some time, but she has all these songs that she has created to help her students learn, and I use all of them. So thank you, um, Bethany Humphrey. I absolutely love her um, teaching and so forth. Yeah, she's just super inspiring, and like I said, I, I think that I'm a lot like her, so I love to follow her on Instagram. And I think that those are my favorites. Um, that's all I can think of right now. My head's kind of like blank. What is one of your best classroom management tips? Be consistent. I need to follow this tip myself, and I think a lot of us need to follow this tip, but just be consistent. Once you come up with those expectations and the children understand them, if they don't meet the expectation, let them know. Don't let things slide because that's how things get out of control. That's how things get messed up. So um, just be consistent. Pick something, try it. If it doesn't work, try something else. But as you're trying it, be consistent and stick to it while you're doing it. Um, and don't let them not do it for a second because as soon as you not let, if as soon as you let them do what you don't want them to do, they're going to continue to do it. So be consistent. Um, what is one reason you decided to become a teacher? I think the main reason that I decided to become a teacher is because I love children. I have a huge passion for watching them grow, watching them learn, becoming kind, wonderful people. And I think that deep down, I'm a huge child myself. So I think that I just connect with them on a different level. And I just love being that person that they need. You know, there's a lot of kids in our schools these days that have no families, that have parents that are always gone, that have, you know, parents that are, you know, abusive, whether it's with them or uh, abusive to themselves. And these children just need somebody to love them. And that's one of the reasons why I love teaching, because I'm that person. I get to love these pe these children. I get to be who they need every day. And... I think that that's one of the most rewarding parts of teaching is, you know, I don't say, you know, well, they're just my students. Like, these are my kids. Um, they're my, I love them and um, I would do anything for them. So I think that that's one of the reasons why I love teaching so much. All right. Um, yes, that is the last question. So thank you again, Megan, so much for creating the I Teach to teacher tag. I'm really, really excited. I'm glad I did it. And I love all your questions. And if you haven't already done this tag, tag your it. Go on, get your camera, get your computer, get the questions. I'll put them down below. And um, I can't wait to see yours. Bye, guys.